Chapter 3, Section 3 Mother and Father Acknowledge Little Being One of her parents spoke from their heart. I can truthfully see it and know it is true. In deciding what you wanted to let go of and create, you've come upon what the world wants through you. And that as of yet unfathomable offering, it is so. And I can feel it so great the way you have grown. The way you have grown has brought your mother and your father to feel at peace in your place. And we both agree your perception is now an unprecedented and wonderful place. You've come to know yourself as so much larger than you have yet perceived. Because in the moments of speaking for the world, you set the world and you free. In your feeling the universe move through you, you are certainly moving me. And even if it's not the whole universe, but just your imagination, what difference would it be? For who's to say what creates what? We are all here just the same, to be part of what is and will always be in the display to that which never remains. In this moment I know now, and thus am more inspired to be, I feel more awake and aware than I have ever been, enamored with this continuity. Magnificent, beneficent, and innocent, no longer a mere projection, but an actual creation, effective and affected, now perfected in your exquisite affection. I feel the actuality of my actualized being where concepts unify. I feel the knowing that I contain all, every notion of God and I, as one the creativity of life. Nothing wholly is anything other, for that is merely a convincing lie. Inside of us, this holy moment of us, this realization of God is us unified. Because I now see that your all-encompassing notion was something that came from inside. That all of existence is here for each of us in each cell awaiting a proper guide. To put it to an attention and intention full of love. To change the nature of everything as below, so above. You've opened to the point of offering yourself as an economy of the gift. And in your father's projections or your mother's memory, there is nothing greater than this. There is nothing to add and nothing to retract from being the resplendent artifact of the loving act. There is nothing to buy that would ever be more relevant than the presence of the presence from the eye of the eye. There is nothing to sell that would ever offer more in sustenance than the choice in which we all of this moment now dwell. So now you know you are ready, because now you assuredly are. For father future and mother past have never felt this light, nor this much light before. Chapter 3, Section 4 One's Me Little body boldly bellowed, Mother past, father future, your work is complete, I am done. You, my beloved parents, and I are all in the simultaneity of our love as one. Now I am ready to meet my beloved, to greet my beloved now. For I know that I am the cause of every manifestation, the source of my every somehow. Wow. I know there are no empirical things behind or ahead, and for that reason you need to have good designs about what reality you'd like to see manifest, and through emotional clarity be aware of summoning the existence you will find, rising into your perception continuously to be refined and to refine as each of us is each of us, one in the divine. The all in me and the all outside of me is always in a dance, 
And the more succinct, calm, clear, and kind our movements, the greater the advances trance. There are no things in the past and the future, and for that reason, you need to have good ideas of what reality is to one's me. Not based on what has been told to you, but what you know to be true. In your own heart, the voice of intuition, and that listening is self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency is the place from which one can desire more out of pure desire. A way of being where one does not seek, want, or discover what is not, but solely and soulfully creates what is as it aspires, and as we are taking complete responsibility for what we want to see. We are loving the self wholly in elated response ability. In claiming total responsibility of the experience of self, all that comprises one's me. Everything seen will through the self-sufficient oneself be redeemed. Mother past and father future applauded their soul, soul daughter in her established perception. With many tears in their eyes, each a consecration in a liquid disguise, they filled up their wishing cup and did not miss but even a drop. For any tears that from joy off a cheek come to fall are in truth a wish for all wishes to be one's own and thus live as the one wish for all. And then looking at her one more time before returning to their tasks self-assigned, reforming their perceptions to see what now they'd find in a new relation to what to each was now mine they began to refine being refined so they little body's parents set out from her living room and seeing as little body had inspired permission, there was only one place to loom. And so little body set out as a little lover of time, as a sweet one in the divine, to see what special guest with grandma presence she would find.